Hi, it's Katie. So with the holidays and this time of year comes a lot of stress. And I myself just had a really um, interesting experience with stress where it literally made me sick. Now I am now more in tune with my body than I used to be. So in times of stress, I can actually feel it and I actually feel my body getting sick. Well, yesterday I had an experience where um, I had a 24 hour period with extra stress and um, was super unhappy yesterday, like literally just was losing it. And then um, I wasn't feeling so well. I'm like, ooh, I really don't feel good. So, um, and the long and short of it is I ended up being really sick yesterday, like in bed, couldn't go do anything. Like I had the chills. I had, um, almost like feverish. Actually I was feverish. I had a low, uh, grade fever of a hundred, um, you know, had sort of indigestion, just did, couldn't eat, didn't, you know, whatever, couldn't get out of bed, um, had planned to take a detox bath, but couldn't even make it to the bath. So anyway, the bottom line is yesterday I was feeling really bad. The good news about this post is, what can you do about it? I wanna share with you what I did because it's a little miraculous that I'm standing here doing this live right now because yesterday at this time, I thought I was on death's door. So what did I do? Um, the first thing, and this is gonna be like a duh, but we don't do it, rest. My body told me, I think you need to go lie down. Uh, it was one o'clock in the afternoon. Needless to say, I had things to do. I didn't want to go lie down while well, I wanted to, but you know what I mean? But I listened to my body. Super important we listen to our bodies. So I listened to my body and I went and lied down. And then I got up to try to do this class at two, 15 minutes into it. I'm like, this isn't happening. I need to go back, lie down. So, and then it progressively, you know, got worse. Um, what else did I do? Um, so in this case, I actually ended up having a really healthy diet yesterday. Um, before I even knew I was coming down with being sick, I had a green smoothie in the morning for breakfast and then I didn't really have lunch, but I had a, um, a bowl of miso soup. Um, miso soup is also really good for you. So basically, and then I just did liquids the rest of the day. So just lots of water. And then in addition, I did do, I'm not a huge pusher of supplements, but there is a time and a place for them. And yesterday was one of those. So yesterday I made sure that I had um, C and D. I, I do every day, but I, may, I pumped up the vitamin C. Um, I, I um, recommend liposomal vitamin C because it's more um, biodigestible or am I saying the right word? It's, um, uh, Anyway, I can't think of the word right this second, but anyway, it's it's better. It's for you, right? Gets into your cells better. So um, I did that. Um, I did because I thought, oh, I don't know if this is the COVID thing or something else, but I did quercetin. Um, I did zinc. I did um, trying to think of all the ones. Uh, my probiotic, um, turmeric. So those are the supplements that I did, right? And then I, oh, I didn't do garlic yesterday, but I had garlic the day before and I knew I had, but garlic is another great one when you get sick is to jump into um, that and have something with garlic in it. Or even, um, you could even cut off a little piece of the clove and just swallow it. Yeah, I know it's like, but it's really good for you. Um, so that's another thing you can do. And so that was a really big thing. I did rest. And then this morning I got up, I couldn't take a bath last night, but I took a detox bath this morning with Epsom salts and baking soda, uh, a little bit of bentonite clay. And I soaked in that so that I would also feel better. So all of these things I was doing to help my body. I also um, did um, a sound bath, um, healing sort of meditation. And uh, yeah, I did a meditation last night. So all of these tools are things you can do when you feel that stress level rising and you're like, ah, and you think you may be on the brink of, you know, something going on. So that's what I recommend you do. And, but I, I recommend you listen to your body this season and, you know, take some of those things off your list that you don't love doing, that it's just too much, whatever, just, you know, don't do them or outsource them or something else because um, we do know that stress kills. 
And another thing, and in my case, it can make you sick. And it did. Like, it made me really sick. My body was talking to me and I listened. <laughs> um, but the next thing is, I actually heard a TED Talk recently about stress. And it was very interesting because she said, you know, she felt bad. All these years she was teaching people about, you know, de-stressing and how bad stress is and everything. But part of what she learned is it's our attitude towards stress that is also a problem. So the fact, if you're, if you're worried and that you're stressed out all the time and you know, you're stressed about being stressed or like that you think, uh oh, stress is bad and that's your perception of it, then it's going to have a negative effect on your body. But if you actually look at, because there's a lot of reasons that stress in our life is a good thing, right? It motivates us. It gets things done. It, you know, obviously in times of emergency and whatnot, we, you know, spring into action. Um, it does the fight or flight. I mean, it, it gets us out of trouble. So stress can be a good thing um, in low amounts. The problem is we have it all day, every day, 24 seven in our society, but it's not necessarily a bad thing is the point. So if you look at it from that point, um, then you won't necessarily suffer as much like they did studies. And let's say, you know, people that just, you know, stress was part of their job, but they thrived on it, right? They liked it or whatever, um, didn't necessarily have the same outcomes as people that were unhappy in their jobs and really stressed and stressed about being stressed and whatever. So then if you get my point, so I don't know, I'm probably um, not making a whole lot of sense here, but um, I just really wanted to bring this to light because again, I sort of considered a little bit of a success story uh, that yesterday I was, you know, really sick. Um, and I kind of thought that too. I thought, Oh my God, I'm coming down with something. What did I come down with? Um, but I know that I'd had a very stressful weekend and everything, you know, so, and with the holidays, I think we all have more of this stuff coming to us. Um, so I want to make sure you have the tools. And with that in mind, um, December, I usually like to do, well, like to do, <laughs> my membership is a year old, and last December, um, one of my early master classes was on stress busting tools. So I think I'm going to break out the toolbox and share that with y'all, um, the first Thursday of December. So, um, if you're interested in that, um, you want to join now so that you can also take advantage of my, um, sale going on right now, which is my one year anniversary of breast health empowerment membership. You can get 25% off the already low monthly fee and, um, you get that for two months, but you have to sign up before the end of the year. So, um, get in there, join us, try it out. You'll get your, it'll be worth it. Um, I think it works out to like $35, um, for the month of December and, um, you would get your stress busting tools, um, next month. So, and you also get access, actually you get it right now because you get access to the whole library of content from last year, all the master classes, all the guest experts, all the support calls. You get access to that and in there you could you could join and immediately um, check out that link to last year's stress busting tools masterclass but there will be a new one this year so anyway hope you can join us and hope these little tools and ideas help as you start to navigate the holidays and i want you to um, you know listen to your body manage that stress it's not a bad thing but you still want to manage it and so that you can have a happy, healthy holiday season. All right, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.